I gave Butters the best wet willy over there one time. My friend has a crush on you. A guide to South Park Wildlife is everything a hunter needs to know about the beasts of Central Colorado. Got some things for sale might help your hunting. Interested? Kill anything in that guide, you come back and see old Jimbo and Ned. The best part of hunting is bragging about it to other hunters. Commander Douchebag has decided to bless us with his presence. Let's get started. Humans and Elves of Zaron, a great evil has descended upon us. After researching last night, I believe we are facing a threat to our entire world. Clyde's Fortress of Darkness is over four stories tall. So far, he has recruited at least 50 warriors to be on his team, and he is... <laughs> you have something to say, wizard? Uh, nothing. Just think it's kind of funny how Drow Elves in the Middle Ages can use PowerPoint. <laughs> You guys, this is serious! Clyde is attempting to raise an army of darkness. I believe he is messing with something he cannot control. He has recruited many of our friends, and so our only hope is for our two factions to join forces. Fuck that. We do not team up with fucking elves. You got a better idea, wizard fat ass? After what you elves did us at the Battle of Wormsley Woods, you think we'll ever trust you? Yeah, you, you tell a butter. That, that was Jimmy's fault, and he apologized. Oh, oh, we're apologizing now. How about we apologize for breaking the rule about using arcane fire magic? Yeah. Hey, that was the human's rule, not ours. Join forces, my paladin ass. Only good elf is a dead elf. Why don't you suck my elven dick, butters? Enough! Whether we are human or elfins are gonna matter one bit if all of Zaron is taken over by German zombies. We saw what that green stuff does. We better figure out a way to stop Clyde or there won't be a world to fight in. Even if we join forces, we don't have enough warriors. So we recruit more factions to join us. The Pirates, the Federation, and the girls. The girls? Kyle, the girls are not gonna fucking play with us. Yeah, dude, we can't convince girls to do this. No, but maybe the new kid can. The new kid has a power we have yet to understand. He makes friends on Facebook faster than any we have seen. He is really good at getting Facebook friends. I'll give him that. Find a way to get the girls to side with us, Commander Douchebag. I'll deal with the other factions. The rest of you, return to your stations and prepare for war! Huzzah! I guess this means we're friends for now, but I still don't like you, new kid. The Well of Insight says your future is cloudy. Oh wait, that's bird crap. <laughs> we elves craft the finest shit in the land.
What is this? The boys want us to play with them? I do owe you one. I can take you to the girls, but I don't think they'll be very willing to play with boys. Do you wish to speak to the girls now? The 412th meeting of the girls is hereby called to order. Sparkle, sparkle! Sunshine! Sunshine, sparkle! Millie Larson has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, I move that we vote immediately on the urgent matter involving Monica Ryland. Yes! Yeah, right right away! Right away. Excuse me, I'm sorry, but I have an urgent matter that I believe needs to be addressed first. The chair acknowledges Annie. Sunshine, sparkle, Annie Nitz has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, a messenger comes with a request from the boys. Yeah. Yeah. Ew. Ew. Oh. Oh. Yes. What request do the boys ask of us? He doesn't really talk. That's hot. The boys are playing some new role-playing game, and the new kid here wants us to join his team. What? We don't have time for that. Something very big happened, and we must do something. I know. I thought maybe he could help. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I glitter Annie's idea. Sunshine Sparkle, a motion has been glittered to have the new kid help with Monica Ryland. All right, new kid, look. There are terrible rumors going around town that our good friend Allie Nelson was spotted at the abortion clinic. I have never been to the abortion clinic. I'm not a whore. We aren't sure, but we think the girl spreading the rumors about Allie is Monica Ryland. And then she has the gall to act all nice to me. We have to know for sure if Monica Ryland is a two-faced bitch or not. So, we're going to send Monica a Facebook page with your picture, then tell her that you're Bebe's boyfriend from Lakewood, and you want to meet her and ask her what the best thing to get Bebe for her birthday would be, and see if Monica tries to hit on you at all, because that way we can see if Monica is a manipulative bitch. Right. Do this task for us, and the girls will consider your request. Sparkle! Sunshine! You'll find Monica waiting for you at the park. All you have to do is pretend to be Bebe's long-distance boyfriend. When the job is done, come see me. Whatever they ask you to do, remember we need their help. I gave butters a sweet swirly one time in that bathroom. Any means necessary, douchebag. Kill if you have to. Oh, hi. You must be Mike. So, you want to talk about Bebe, huh? Well, look, Bebe's my friend. I think she's really great. I, I don't know if she's the end-all, be-all of girls. I mean, she's a little two-faced if you ask me. But, hey, I've read a lot of your Facebook profile, and I think you're a really interesting boy. Aha! We knew it! You two-faced manipulative whore! What the heck? Thank God we sent the new kid to spy on you, huh, girls? Yeah! Now we know you're a two-faced bitch! What do you mean? You guys are my best friends! Then why are you hitting on my Facebook boyfriend? We brought someone else who might be interested. Monica, what the fuck are you doing? Uh-oh. Hey, Jake. Have fun, you two-faced skank! Guys, wait! Please, come back! What's the big idea trying to fuck my girlfriend? Nothing to say, huh? Well, maybe you'll understand this! This looks like a job for the Grand Wizard and his trusty sidekick. You will never get laid looking like that, kid. Oh. Mm. 
The girls want to thank you for your help. We can go see them again whenever you're ready. All right, then, let's go. You know the drill. New kid, we want to thank you for helping us determine whether or not Monica was a two-faced bitch. She really made us mad, but it turns out she couldn't have been the one spreading rumors about Allie Nelson going to the abortion clinic. Yeah, so we made up. You guys are the best. You see, the thing is, Heidi Turner was supposed to put on the Facebook page that you were Bebe's boyfriend, but she didn't. Because Heidi Turner is a two-faced bitch who says she likes me then tries to stab me in the back. Right, so we need to know if Heidi Turner is the two-faced bitch who's spreading rumors about Allie being spotted at the abortion clinic. But in order to do that, we need people to think you're a girl. Makeover! Makeover! Sparkling with girl power. You are just sparkling with girl power. You're on fire, girlfriend, and so's your outfit. That outfit's so hot, we wanted to give you this to make it complete. You look all ready to go. Let's get to the quest. All right, new kid, get inside the abortion clinic and find the records room. Take a picture of all the records from the past week and text them to us. That will help us find out who the two-faced bitch is. I'm sure you can appreciate why none of us can do this. If any of us are spotted in there, people might think we're sluts like Jessica Rodriguez. Hey, guys. Hey, Jesse. Hi, hey, 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 Jesse. Hey, Jessie. Hey, Jessie. Hey, Jessie. Hey, Jessie. What are you up to? Oh, nothing. Just finding out which of our friends is a two-faced bitch. Cool. We'll see you around. Awesome. Skank. All right, now go in there and get to the records room. Find out if Jesse had an abortion. Hi, here for an abortion? It's okay, don't be scared. The first one's always the scariest. Take room A, second door to your left. I'm sorry. Your little friend will have to wait out here. All right, you take it from here, douchebag. You have to learn to do things for yourself sometime. Hi, I'm Dr. Poonlubber. Get on up in the chair and this won't take long at all. Hey, little young to be having an abortion, aren't we? It's okay, we have a booster seat. All right, just sit back and relax. We'll get that fuck trash taken right out of you. Here we go. What the? Wow, never seen that before. You burned out the vacuum. I'm gonna have to get this thing fixed. Be back in a minute. Access granted. Thank you, Doctor. Ah! Ah, damn it! Oh, it's you! Thank God! Something strange is going on here. The PTA reviewed that tape you got us. The Taco Bell has something called a Plan B. They've been here looking through these records, but why would they be interested in the gynecological files of the women of South Park? I'm afraid now you know too much. We have two more asking a lot of questions. Deal with them quietly. We can't let anyone find out what we were doing there. Before you kill us, tell us why. Why is Taco Bell taking the records of women's vaginas in South Park? I'm picking up some hot readings on the ESRB. Tell us, what do women's vaginas and Doritos Locos Tacos have in common? ESRB is going crazy. Oh shit, there's an outbreak here. We have contamination in sector seven. All units to sector seven now. Secure the entire building. Put that woman in restraints. Ah! What's going on? Uh, Taco Bell security. 
Your clinic is infected with a Nazi zombie virus. Nazi zombies? That's ridiculous! And bigoted! I happen to be German! He's one of them! <laughs> Tell people what you saw here today! Let's go! Quarantine the place! There's something crawling under the floor, sir! I've got him! Where are they? Shoot the floor! I'm just here for an operation. <laughs> oh, there you are, Doctor. I'm ready when you are. Is this going to hurt, Doctor? Teehee? There's something fishy going on here. I think they might be Nazi zombies. We'll see if you're a real doctor. Give her an abortion. Do it! Oh, goodness! Christmas time is once a year. Every oh shit, oh that stinks, God. Every animal, big or small. Phew. Christmas Ow, my balls! Means so much my to balls! Us my balls! My, my favorite it's shopping Christmas malls, I'll close at five, Doctor. Can we please get this over and with quickly? Happens once a year. It's once a year. Oh, that's it's cold, that's cold! Time. When we this is about as wide as I can cave, Doctor. Comes once okay, a okay, year. do it, I'm ready. Oh god, it's snagged! Get it off! Get it off! Oh boy! He did it! Alright, so he is a real doctor. What the hell? Oh shit, clear the building! The area's been compromised! Get out now! Ah, uh, you go ahead. Might be a while before I can walk very well. What the hell is that? He's in Deutschland! Stink suit! Mathers, where did you find the alien goo? Broken vials were in the trash can, sir. What could have come into contact with it in the trash can of an abortion clinic? Oh my god. Blood? Yeah, yeah. You sure about this? It feels the leading! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah.
that total wreck. Whoa, what's up with those weird babies? What are they? Damn, those are some pissed off babies. They're killing us! It's just fetuses. The soldiers will probably waste them. The babies are eating my brains! Nope, they're fucked. Today's the day you sacrifice yourself to save me.
That's it, that's it. The area is secure. Code green. It's not secure. Tell all units the outbreak has been contained. It's not contained. What the hell are you talking about? It's not contained. You, you don't understand. Chloe Kardashian was in here this morning. She had the biggest abortion I've ever seen. <laughs> Fucking weak, dude. That's when I realized what I thought was a three-headed harpy gorgon was really cow's mouth. Lightning bolt! Well, that's not cool, dude. Even I know that. You seem like a pretty nice kid.
girls want to thank you for your help. We can go see them again whenever you're ready. All right, then, let's go. You know the drill. New kid, the girls are very thankful for you texting us the abortion records. We are one step away from finding out which girl among us is a two-faced bitch. Unfortunately, the record keeper at the abortion clinic is from Paris, and so everything is written in French. Whoever this two-faced skank is thinks she can outsmart us. We want to help you and the boys play your game, but we just can't have a two-faced bitch out there on the loose. Just get these documents translated for us, and we promise we will join your army. Sparkle! Sunshine! Creeping me out, dude. What's this? Council, gather round. This must be something the new kid needs our help with. Sank femmes on sobi un unvartement. What language is that? It's some kind of strange orcish. I've seen this language before. In the kingdom to the north. Oh, the kingdom to the north. Whatever's written on these documents is somehow the key to us recruiting the girls to our army. Is, is that what you're trying to tell us, new kid? Come on, sp spit it out. Getting that document translated isn't going to be easy. To breach the kingdom to the north, you'll have to assume another identity. Your name is no longer Commander Douchebag. It is now Larry Bobinski from Cleveland. The quickest way to the kingdom to the north is through the Lost Forest. Head north, then north again, north, and then north. You better get a real passport photo first or you won't make it past border control. If you ever want some work done on your nose, see Dr. Tom. He's the best. Hi, here to get your passport photo taken? Just head into the room there and we'll get started. Step between the lights, please. That's great. Okay, smile. Oh, do you have anything else you could wear? Could you try something else on? Uh, no. Tell you what, how about just no shirt at all? Let's try that. Yeah, that's gonna work better. Here we go. Oh, those pants don't work with the lighting. Could you roll up your pants? Or, you know what, just take take the pants off, too. Okay, that's good. Really nice. Yes, very nice. How about we lose the underwear? You sick son of a bitch! Stop him! You'll never take me alive! Fucking weak, dude. Wow, good job, kid. You're quite the fighter. All right, let's get this over with. Say cheese. Congrats, kid. You have your first passport. They painted the kitchen this color because Kyle family really likes gold for some reason. That's Kyle's mom. She's a fairly large bitch.
up when spring is on the way. Dad, this body appears to have been moved since the murder. Look at the forensic evidence around the torso. Dude, how jealous are you right now? Hello, douchebag. We must have tea sometime to celebrate Eric, our mutual hero. <laughs> I think we should go that the way. Golden. Nicht the start. <laughs> That's right, bitch. Uh. Look at this, y'all. A new kid's coming to the forest to have a soul save. Yay! If you want your soul save, all you got to do is accept the one true Lord as your personal savior and renounce all others as false idols. You're saved. Praise be to Satan, your new dread master. Now we can all be friends on Facebook. Yay! Hail Satan! Uh, I think we should go that way. Nope, you see? No matter which way you go, I block you. Ah, I see you have a passport. All right, hand it over. Papers appear to be in order. Very well. 
I hereby grant thee access to the great nation of Canada. Open the gate! Oh, I'll do it. Hold on. There we go. You're not from around here, are you? Woo! Who the fuck just walks into someone's house? Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? Welcome to the Bank of Canada. Oh ho, American money. The current exchange rate is 1.24 to the dollar. Come back soon! All hail the Prince and Princess of Canada! Hail, yeah! Well, well, what have we here? A hero from the South? Not just anyone can pass the guard at the Great Border. You must have beaten the odds and obtained a passport. I am the Prince of Canada, and this is my lovely wife. How can I help you? What's this? Hmm. Sorry, but I don't know what this says. I've seen this language before, but I believe it's only spoken in a specific part of Canada. I suggest you travel west of here and seek out the Earl of Winnipeg. He can tell you where in Canada they speak this freakish tongue. But I warn you, the wilderness of Canada is filled with dire wolves. You know what dire wolves are, right? They're like wolves, but they're dire. Hold it right there! Here are your photos with the prince and princess. Would you like two 8x10s or six 5x7s? All right, there you go. You can exit right through there. Now I'm gonna pick the 5x7s. If you need to get from Ottawa to Winnipeg, just follow the road. You shall not pass! Whatever, dear. Welcome to Winnipeg. This is a conservative township, so mind your P's and Q's. Do whatever you want with your T's and M's, however. Welcome to Winnipeg. This is a conservative township, so mind your P's and Q's. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares?
Ah, yes. This writing is definitely Canadian. But why should I help a foreigner when Winnipeg is completely overrun with dire bears? Tell you what, kill off all the dire bears in the north of town and I'll help you however I can. This poor citizen was killed by a dire bear. You know what a dire bear is, right? It's like a bear, but it's dire. You wanna throw down, dog? I'll throw down. Just pick something already. By Jove, you've done it! Look at all these diabear pelts! Now I can finally make a diarobe! Alright, give me that document! Mm, yes, this is actually written in the language of Eastern Canadian! The Minister of Montreal can translate it, but I'm afraid the Prince has imprisoned the Minister of Montreal in the caverns of Quebec! I will speak with the Prince. Return to him and he should let you speak with the Minister. Boy, oh boy, I will have the most diarobe in all of Canada. There you are. I understand you wish me to release the Minister of Montreal. I'd like to help you, but I think this might be another ploy by the Bishop of Banff to have Montreal allowed back into the kingdom. Some Canadians think our nation should be united again, my lord. Shut up! Who the fuck are you? Listen, it's all because the Bishop of Banff is a liberal. He does these things just to make life difficult for me. I must ask you to perform another noble quest. Go to Banff and kill the Bishop. <gasps> kill the Bishop of Banff? Shh, you, shh. Kill the Bishop of Banff for me, and bring me his balls as proof. Do this, and I shall allow you into the catacombs of Quebec. Make haste! Dude, seriously, I think we fought enough guys already.
Dude, you got gyrates. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my waz? Have you been to Newfoundland? You won't find better sodomy in all of Canada. Praise Christ! Praise God! Praise God and Christ! What's this? Who the fuck hits a bishop? Assassin! Dude, what are you doing? Remember the golden rule! I shall turn the other cheek! He knows not what he does! Turn the other cheek. Damn it now! Respect our authority. Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, you don't have to kill me. I'll go away and the prince will never know I'm alive. Please, take these dire pig testicles and tell the prince they're mine. Bless you, my son. It'll be our secret. Wow, good thing I saved these. Ah, oh, come on, dude. We should take his bars anyway, so we have extra. Dad, did you kill him? Yay, the bishop's bars! Now religion won't interfere with government. How can we ever repay you? You said you would free the minister of Montreal, my lord. Sorry, no can do. With both the bishop and the minister taken care of, my throne is secure. But my liege, we made a promise. Shh, you. Shh. Quickly, you must speak with the Duke of Vancouver. He can help you get into the catacombs of Quebec. Give the Duke this. Hurry now.
Many wonderful films are shot in Vancouver. All of them are about cabins terrorized by serial killers. Yes, yes, I know. But Ottawa is clear on the other side of Canada. How are we supposed to get there? Uh-huh. Yes, I see. Oh, wow. No, I didn't know that. Yes, come on. Yes, I hate that guy, too. Uh -huh. No, I haven't seen that show as a kid. A letter from the princess? What the? Why, according to this, the prince had something to do with the bishop's murder and has imprisoned the minister unjustly. Young man, if you wish to brave the catacombs of Quebec, you would have to speak with the monks who live to the southeast of town. Only they could train you in such sorcery. He is the American everyone is talking about, Terrence. Nah, it can't be. He can't be a master of spellcraft. He doesn't even know magic. He probably doesn't even know how to fart. Is that all you got, bro? He knows dragon shout. Any magician's apprentice can dragon shout. It's not like he farted into his hand and hit you in the face with it, Philip. If he's really good, how come he can't sneak a fart behind your fares? <laughs> the sneaky squeaker! Very impressive. He is worthy of our training after all. Yes. Prepare thyself, child. It is time for you to learn some true magic. <laughs> Your magic is impressive, young American. Not since Eric Von Thunderpants of Nova Scotia have we seen such prowess. But now, you must learn to control your anus muscles in just the right way to change a spell's frequency. Some objects seem too large to be damaged by magic, but now I will break through it with Nagasaki! Here, watch again. These three pedophiles from Alberta will have their way with you unless you damage them all with one move. Nagasaki! <laughs> That's it! You have the power! You did it! Now go out and use your anus for the good of mankind! And don't ever, ever fart on a man's balls. Oui, oui, oui. C'est là que m'a fait. Allô? À ce cours! That's good. 
Someday I will teach you to do better. Hello? Those ones hurt, huh? You're rotten, bruh. Screw you guys, I'm beating the shit out of you. Lock and load. Dude, you got diarrhea. Je suis libre! Je suis libre! Oh! Nez vous besoin de quelque chose, Stradut? Ok! C'est là, c'est Stradut, passez là! C'est là, c'est Stradut, passez là! Voilà! Bonjour! Merci beaucoup! Come at me, bruh. Seriously, how sweet it would be if I had a spell that would make Kyle suck my balls? Could you imagine? Dude, you got diarrhea. You want to throw down, Doug? I'll throw down. You know what they call a Jewish woman's boobs? Jubes.
Fucking son of a bitch, Sandy the Dan Boo crap. Piece of crap. Penises. God damn it. Shit. Scribble sack. I hope you fuck Christian. Fucking goddamn fuck. Suck. Fuck that. God oh, damn it. Damn it. Those ones hurt, huh? Is that all you got, bruh? Stations!
come to try and stop me? It isn't gonna work. Douchebag, the whole world doesn't revolve around you, all right? Try to be more considerate. Stations!
I used to be sad, but I found Jesus at the church. Respect my kingly authority! What can I do for you, new kid? Ah, oh, I hate spiders. Sure hope you blasted the heck out of it. Man, you showed that bacteria what a real hunter looks like. That mouse was making us all look bad. In more ways than one, eh, Ned? Speak for yourself. All right! Looks like that bat sucked its last fruit. Nice work! I remember when I bagged my first dog. This was real personal for me and Ned. Well, we lost half our unit to a farm cow when we were stationed in Hanoi. Far as we're concerned, you're a damn hero, kid. We're both proud to know you. I have no words. You're probably the best hunter this town's ever seen. Right up there with me and Ned at our prime, right, Ned? Straight up. Tastes like crab, not like people, crab people. 
The zombies came for the tacos, that's my theory. My pirating days are behind me now, thankfully. I've got a little time for you if you need me to put somebody up my ass. Ready to go back? The girls are ready to see you. See, right here it says that five women were at the clinic that day. And right there it says Nancy Turner, 3.30 p.m. That's Heidi's mom! So Heidi Turner was the two-faced bitch! The evidence is irrefutable. Thanks, new kid. We now know it was Heidi Turner all along who was spreading the rumors. Freaking whore! Two-faced butt rag! Fuck Heidi Turner and her fucking two-faced but Heidi's really sorry, so we're deciding to forgive her. I love you guys so much. We love you too, Heidi. Yay! Yay, Heidi! Yay, Heidi! You served us well, new kid, so you have our services. Tell the boys we will play their game. Sparkle! Sunshine! As an honorary girl, you've been granted full access to our adorable supplies. Wanna do a little shopping? Shopping? I bet you're thinking about something totally deep right now. We should be friends so you can like my posts. I learned that betrayal can actually make your friendship stronger, and it's all thanks to you. You're really different from the other boys. Like, you aren't even gross. Heidi's having a slumber party. Oops. I almost forgot you're not a girl. 
Thank you so much for clearing my name. Now when girls call me a whore, it's more in a joking way. You're totally hot. You're totally hot. The girls will be ready to help you whenever you need us. You're really different from the other boys. Like, you aren't even gross. You should totally gross. stay as a girl. It's so much better. I just posted the hottest picture of me. 